Hey, what's up guys, this is TPC, aka The Programming Huber, and wow, it has been a while. So, I don't really want to talk too much about where I've been and when my next videos are going to come out. I'll put that stuff in the description, but yeah, let me just talk about the topic of today's video, which is the Merge Cube, Merge VR, and the Merge Rubik's Cube app. So, Merge is a tech company. They contacted me uh, and asked if I would like to try out their Merge Cube and their new app for the Merge Cube, which is the Merge Rubik's Cube. And obviously, the reason being, I'm a cubing YouTuber and they wanted me to make a video on it. Uh, but before I start this video, understand that just because they sent this to me does not mean I'm just favoring them just because I got it for free or whatever. I will criticize what they have and any compliments I have for it are legitimate real compliments. Because I will tell you right off the bat, I spent all of yesterday just playing with this VR stuff because I thought it was awesome. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, I will show the gameplay of the Merge Rubik's Cube specifically and talk about how that game works when the gameplay footage is rolling, but I just want to give a brief overview of the Merge Cube. So this is the Merge Cube, it's just a black foam cube with these silver patterns printed on it. And the reason for the patterns is you download apps on your phone and the camera will scan the cube and it'll project holograms onto it uh, via your phone screen. So if you look at your phone screen, you'll see, you can see a bunch of different things appear. I'll put some screenshots of stuff that I've played around with from different merge apps that I've downloaded. Uh, and of course the merge Rubik's cube you'll see later. And yeah, so that, that's just the purpose of the cube. The VR goggles, pretty standard. You know, if you've ever used VR goggles, ever seen them, Got a slot for the phone in the front, two lenses which are adjustable to adjust the focus, adjustable strap. This one's actually made out of foam rather than plastic, which I have to say is pretty nice because uh, it's not only light, it's very comfortable. There's just one difference from this between this goggle and most other VR goggles, which is there's a little removable piece in the front, and the reason for that is to use the Merge Cube because it needs to use your camera. So you would slide in your phone with the camera in this gap and the camera can then scan the cube. But yeah, that's just a little quick introduction to the Merge VR goggles. Uh, another cool thing about them actually is these controls. These buttons just tap the screen and that way you can aim a cursor and click any buttons you want. That's pretty much all I want to say about this. I'll talk a little bit more while the gameplay footage is rolling because it's like two minutes because I was very slow. I'll talk about the game as well. So yeah, huge thank you to Merge for sending this stuff out. I, the virtual reality stuff still amazes me. The technology is not perfect, I'll talk about that uh, during the gameplay as well, but yeah, even though the technology is not perfect, it's still so innovative and I, mean, I don't know, I just find it so cool, the hol idea of holograms and like being able to see stuff that isn't there, even though you look ridiculous from the outside, it's so so cool and I'm really excited about it, so thank you so much to Merge. I'm not just gonna be using this for the Merge Rubik's Cube, I will be using all the other Merge apps and stuff and just having a lot of fun with it. And merge aside, just a quick plug, uh, I got this new shirt, which is the cube with the cubecode.us shirt. If you guys don't know what this is for, it's for the cubecode's lawsuit against Rubik's. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth because cubecode has a bunch of videos on it, so I'll link all those in the information card up here uh, talking about why the cubicle is doing all this. But yeah, if you want this shirt, please pick one up at the cubicle.us because not only is it a very stylishly designed shirt, uh, it also is supporting a really great cause for this community. And yeah, so just wanted to plug that real quick since I'm wearing it. Yeah, anyway, gameplay. So here is the actual gameplay footage of the Rubik's Cube app for the Merge Cube. As you just saw there, that was the mixing up process. It has this very cool animation with, you know, you can actually pick up the cube during that process and turn it around and you'll see all the layers moving. The controls, it's just displayed in the form of these arrows around each face that you're looking at, so it recognizes which face is facing the camera, and it'll adjust the arrows accordingly. It's actually pretty smooth doing that. The arrow controls are a little awkward to get used to at first, of course, because it's nothing like a physical cube, and actually it's a little bit harder than even the CS Timer virtual cube to get used to. But once you get do get used to them, and you get used to it after like one or two solves, really, it's not too terrible. Obviously, muscle memory on algorithms is still a struggle, and you know, solving it is clearly not that fast because it's also hard to look ahead when you have to have one hand on the controls while the other hand is holding the cube. But other than that, it's 
I, I don't know, I just found it extremely cool. Like, I don't know how else to describe it besides cool. It's just the concept was crazy and like the fact that the, here's this foam cube and you can just see this Rubik's Cube displayed on it and it, it functions the same as a Rubik's Cube except all it is is a foam block essentially and it's projecting this hologram and you can move it around in physical space and you'll see it move in virtual space. I don't know, it was just a very cool concept and I really really liked it. Obviously ideally in terms of improvements as Merge advances as a company, this is obviously much easier said than done. But if they could find a way to use gesture controls for the cube rather than using these physical button controls, like somehow it would be able to pick up when you gesture a certain way and that would turn a layer. Uh, obviously you can't physically turn the layer, but I don't know, maybe if you like made a certain hand gesture on the right side, it'll turn the right layer. You know, something like that. V obviously much, much easier said than it done, but that's kind of where I see this going and that's kind of how I feel it would be really really awesome but yeah other than that like I just love this technology I thought it was a very cool concept which is why I accepted the offer to test it out and I'm definitely not disappointed again this app is only on beta right now so it's not released yet uh if I remember to, hopefully I remember to but once they do actually release the app then I'll put a link in the description to download it but for now actually definitely go check out the merge cube that's already released uh I believe you can you can buy it online and on their website, but apparently people were saying you can also buy it in like Walmart uh, in, on the Instagram comments of my posts. So I guess they must sell it in those stores as well. I've never seen it before, but someone said that they saw them at Walmart. So buy a Merge Cube, you can buy, you, the Merge VR goggles are not necessary because actually all you need is the Merge Cube to and the apps and it'll just display on your phone screen. But if you also want the VR experience, I believe the goggles are on sale for like $30 online uh, and the cube is 15 and yeah so thanks so much to merge for sending this stuff out again i cannot express how amazing i find this technology like i don't know maybe i'm just a tech nerd which i really am but i love it it's so cool and i'm really glad i got to have a first-hand experience at this with something that i'm also passionate about which is cubing so that's about it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video